Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday, September 20th, and I realize this may just be a normal day for the rest of you, but it is a super special day for me because I am seeing the legend, the icon, Jojo Siwa live in concert at her dream tour. Hey, everyone, it's Jojo! In the flesh, I will be breathing the same air as her epic gamer moment. Now, of course, when I first heard about this concert, I immediately got online and searched for some tickets. Now, the seats incredibly close to the stage are $350 each. But I had to do what I had to do. That's right, kids. I spent my entire life savings on JoJo tickets. Just kidding, I found a lot cheaper of tickets in the nosebleed section where literally the worst seats are. And those were only $53 each. Wow, what a deal. Of course, I'm not gonna go alone to this concert because I'm a huge baby. So I bought two tickets, one for me and one for my sister. But first I had to ask her if she would even go for me. Would she be up for it? So I said, hey, what a wonderful kind of will you go to the JoJo Siwa concert with me, please? That's right, I have manners. She said no, so I had to bribe her a little bit. First, I bribed her with my friendship in a good time. Wasn't good enough for her. Then I offered her Gucci slides, but she drives a hard bargain, still said no. But there's one thing that she can't say no to, and that is ice cream. It's gonna be a dang good time. Y'all aren't ready for this. I'm sure not. I spent a total of $153.72 on JoJo tickets. What the? That's more expensive than the kids bop ones that I got. Barely. That's how you know I'm dedicated. Please give this a thumbs up because my bank account is suffering and I'm going to these concerts so y'all can have the experience without spending all of your money on it. Yeah. Who even needs to pay rent when you can go to Kids Bop in JoJo Siwa concerts? Now JoJo has already made quite a name for herself. She has over 10 million subscribers on YouTube. She's touring the world and she's able to afford a convertible with her face on it. Hello, governor. You wanna know what I was doing at 16 years old? Probably crying alone in my room on a Friday night because I couldn't figure out my algebra homework. So I applaud Jojo, she's killing it. I decided that it might be a good idea to reach out to her via Instagram DMs. So I said, hi Jojo, I'm coming to your concert in Tulsa. Wanna meet backstage and play Wii Sports after the show? And she didn't respond, but it's okay, it's fine. I mean, it hurts a little bit, but I'll be okay. The very first thing that I need to do to prepare for this sick night is find my concert outfit, so let's go. All right, here is the full concert outfit rundown. I decided to wear my Star Wars t-shirt because the kids love Star Wars, right? And I'm also wearing my grandma pants that are super attractive. Fun fact, these pants actually belong to my grandma and I took them, wow. Yeah, so I just did a bunch of these weird poses to show off my grandma pants. I think they're going to be a hit. I'm pretty sure my dog approves of the outfit. She attacked me with her cuteness and kisses and now my face is all slobbery. I'm also wearing my Adidas slides for Max maximum comfort and these socks that give off very JoJo vibes. Now the final thing that I need to tie this look together is the signature JoJo Siwa bow that I bought in the Kids Bot video. It would be a sin to go to her concert without the signature bow on my head. Hey Eden, do you know where I put my JoJo bow at? What? Why are you wearing it? That's mine. Uh, I bought that. What? Give it to me. It's what? What are you doing? I'm cooking oatmeal. Okay, now that I have this, I need to get the classic high ponytail look. Let's do it. Why are we still here? Just to I look like an egg. Oh, that's hot. Eden and I are officially ready to hit up the JoJo concert. Eden, where do you want to eat at? Olive Garden! Heck yeah! Unlimited breadsticks, let's go! I just tripped over my slides. Elise, where are you going? To Olive Garden. That's not the entrance. What? Also, can we get an F in the chat for Toys R Us? 
We got the glorious breadsticks. I ate probably about like 20, but don't worry guys, I also had salad because you know, I guess I should be concerned about my health and whatnot, and it cancels out the breadsticks that I ate. So that was fantastic. This delicacy of fine dining was exactly what Eden and I needed to fuel our bodies for the JoJo concert. We were ready to go crazy, kids. We got the ice cream and it's blue. And a shake. It How is also blue. boring! What are you most excited for for the JoJo concert? I think I'm just excited to see JoJo with her high ponytail and bow because that's like literally the only thing I know about JoJo. Same. I want her to throw her bow into my face and absolutely destroy my face. She just like, she can break my face with her bow. The blue matches my bow. The pink does not match your bow. Ooh. Oh my goodness, we are going to be late to the JoJo oh concert, gosh. guys. We have to go. Please slow down, hun. We have to go. We're fine. No, we gotta get there. If we don't get there, we are going to miss her opening scene. We had to park like 500 miles away because I had spent all my money on the tickets and I didn't have a dollar to spend for parking. I was terrified of being late to the concert, so we ran our booties off. It's a long walk. I don't know if we'll make it, guys. Now, I'm not gonna lie, when we rolled up to the venue, it was very scary and intimidating. There were millions of little children wearing JoJo bows and skirts and high tops. For the first time, I started to question my choice of wearing the grandma pants because every single parent there was giving me weird looks and it kinda hurt a little bit. I just wanted to feel like I belonged. When I say JoJo, you say Siwa, JoJo. See what? I did my Naruto run all the way to the doors and we went through security. It was really scary. I may have peed my pants a little bit, but we made it in. You don't truly know what a long line is until you've waited in line for the JoJo Siwa merch stand. That thing was popping. I can only imagine how many parents are gonna be needing this tonight. I went pee for the second time just to be sure that my bladder was completely empty and that I wouldn't have to go during the concert and miss any of it. Cause that would be devastating. Stating. So we made our way to find our seats that were very high up and far away. It was dark and scary up there. I was kind of scared that Slender Man was gonna pop out and get us. We waited and waited for JoJo to come on stage for what seemed like forever. Then finally the lights dimmed and we thought it was gonna be her, but it was her opening act. Hi, everybody. We're the Bells. Welcome to JoJo's oh, it's not JoJo. We weren't aware that the bells were opening for her. They sang some high key bops though. And guess what one of the songs that they chose to cover was? High Hopes by Panic at the Disco. It's like I'm reliving kids bop concert all over again. After the opening act finished, they had to set up the stage for JoJo, so we waited for what seemed like another eternity. By this time, the venue was getting very, very full. JoJo packed out the house. Y'all don't understand. It wasn't even this packed for kids bop. After some hair flips and a little bit of crying, the screen started to play a pre-recorded video of JoJo. Basically, what I gathered from this exquisite film was that JoJo lost the dream bow that was supposed to take us all to JoJo land. What a bummer, so the point of the concert is her trying to find the dream bow. We did a fun little countdown and then JoJo appeared on stage. It was truly magical. I was overflowing with excitement and this may be TMI, but I maybe peed my pants again. I'm not quite sure actually. Uh oh. JoJo's angelic voice pierced through my soul and my eardrums. So I had to put in my earplugs real quick. Half of the concert was her screaming at us, asking us questions. It was a good time. Actually, if they would be all right with you guys, I would like to take everybody in here on an adventure tonight to my favorite place ever. I really wanted to dance a lot harder at this concert, but because we were so high up and the seating was very steep, I couldn't go all out for fear of plummeting to my death. 
Y'all aren't gonna believe this, but JoJo and her entire squad were all wearing Heelys. This was my favorite part of the concert. They were just healing around the stage, like they were having the best time ever. JoJo did some pretty dangerous stunts, like slide down this huge slide. They also did this number where they had boxes and they moved them around and she walked on top of them. I don't know how she did it, but she's full of surprises. You don't know what you're gonna get when you go to one of her concerts. Now about halfway through the concert, I was not feeling very well and this had nothing to do with JoJo. I just think I ate too many breadsticks, so I had to go throw up a little bit. I decided that I needed a moment to myself, so I went to go cry on the escalator. But then security stopped me because apparently this wasn't acceptable behavior, and they said they were gonna kick me out. There was no way in heck I was gonna miss the rest of the JoJo concert and let them kick me out because I was crying, so I ran away from them, but then I tripped, and they escorted me out of the venue. The lady had really cool hair, though. Do you feel any better? No. Okay, let's go. As I lay there in misery on the really dirty ground, this would go down as the saddest day in the history of my life. The end. Well, okay, actually, it's not the end. This is how the story really ends. Guys, JoJo just sent me a DM telling me to meet her in this alley after the show so we can play some Wii Sports. I'm so excited. JoJo, where are you? 